Bring that ass back like a boom, 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 boom. Oh, it's that time again. What is up, you guys? It's your boy, the Scarlet Cosplayer here, bringing you yet another cosplay unboxing. And as always, if you guys like what you see here, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified, and go give love to the original creators as they are working so hard to bring us content in these dark, desolate times. And if you guys have any other ideas, be sure to leave them in the comments section. We would greatly like to be doing something else with this channel. We just haven't had any ideas in a while. But, yes, I know this video started with a Dr. Pepper break, but we're doing a Dr. Pepper break because I'm just really, really excited. And uh, hashtag Dr. Pepper sponsor me already. Like, come on, guys. It's been years. But anyways, cosplay unboxing, right? Any ideas? Yeah, it's Spider Man back here. No, I'm just kidding. That's a commission I'm doing. But it is Flash related. And this actually comes from France. Now, you may be thinking. Who on earth has a cosplay company in France? And well, this one actually comes to us from Replica Industries. And if you don't know who they are, they are a big named cosplay company that specializes in like screen printing, right? They do screen printing, they do urethane, they do like movie grade superhero suits. In fact, if I remember correctly, that was the team that worked on the Jupiter's Ascending, like, Netflix series. So, that is them. And we got something today from them. And if you guys know anything about me, even though I'm called the Scarlet Cosplayer and I have a lot of Flash stuff, I am a big Flash boy at heart. I like the TV show. We're gonna talk about the season seven in another video, trust me. But overall, my best videos on this channel have always been stuff having to deal with the TV show. Whether it be my Kid Flash video or my UD Replicas videos. It's always Flash. So what kind of a creator would I be if I didn't order something Flash from them? And I tell you what, it was an ordeal to try to get done. And like one thing about them being in France is that there is one, a language barrier and two, a time difference. So when they're awake, I'm asleep. And when I'm asleep, they're awake. But to be fair, if I'm asleep, usually that's all day. But this cowl, no one else makes or no one makes very well. Like in a previous video, you guys have seen me review this one from Cosmanals. And I got bored with it, so I started puff painting it to try to make it a little bit more accurate. But no matter how much puff paint you put on, it will never fix this. And when I get this fully puff painted, I'm going to be doing a giveaway. So be sure to check it out. But that's basically what we're doing. We are going to be reviewing the Season 6 and Season 7 Flash Cowl. Now let's get it out of this bubble wrap. Ooh, that looks so pretty in person. Ooh, that looks so pretty in person. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, I know it's a little floppy, but like that's because the underneath is actually a urethane shell. And not a lot of people know this. But the, uh, the suit, you know, it's all fabric and it's the one piece from, it's basically the season five suit minus some leather. But the cowl is a urethane shell with fabric over it. And then uh, when I was talking with the actual company, they said that it's all urethane on the shell for 
the like close up uh, like shots for the uh, like the posters and stuff. But like this, you can see like down here, there's the urethane, there's the little like neck tassel thing that they had. And then like this, here, look at the detail. Like this is all screen printed fabric. That's how you get like that nice little texture there. And then you get the little gold dots and this earpiece, I'm just telling you, it is so pretty to look at. It's all hard. It's not rubber and flimsy. Like it actually feels like a flash cowl. It's got the same shape. It's looking good. But man, I tell you what, I'm just excited to try this on. Cause the last screen printed thing that we've got was that Deadpool one. And let me tell you, that one was pretty sweet. So let's see how this kind of looks on us. And away we go. Also, by the way, guys, I'm selling Funko Customs. This obviously inspired by the uh, Wally West Rebirth suit from uh, the most recent comics. But yeah, back to the action. So we've got the cowl on. Because of the there being that urethane like undershell you can't really hear very well so like right now i'm echoing in myself it was a little bit of a pain to get on um the zipper comes down to like here when it's like it needs to come up like a lot further up higher that way you can like get your full head in without like risking anything you know and also because it's an invisible zipper and it's that those zippers are just not the greatest. It already broke. So right now it's being held together by a, uh, a paper binder clip. And of course, because this has this weird little neck dangle thing, if I ever get this suit and review it, I'll just have to tuck it in. But uh, overall, I'd have to say not bad. There's definitely a lot worse, e.g. from before. Um, so here's, you know, kind of some of the things I've noticed with this, right? So it's like real tight, real hard to get on your head. Um, usually I use like this beanie. So then it doesn't pull my hair when I use like the urethane cowls. But if I try to put this beanie on and this, it will not come on. It's just impossible. It's not going to happen. Whereas like right now, even with nothing protecting my hair, it is like real tight on my head. Like I can already kind of start to feel like a uh, like a headache coming on. And then of course, uh, the neck isn't really all that fitted. Um, it really should have been like come out to here in the pattern, a stitch and then come down. That way it doesn't really sit weird. Um, the pattern is just a little bit off. Um, this the gold isn't supposed to come all the way out to the line. There's you know supposed to be a, a, a definite like a definite like line through here. Um, but overall, it's not really all that bad. Um, the price will get you. I actually had to use my stimulus money to get this uh, cowl custom made, just because of how pricey it was. Um, they charged around like $440 US and it converts to like $350 in uh, French money. I think it's either Euro or Franc or something like that. Um, I will say though, probably the one thing I'm the most happy about is these earpieces. They turned out really good. Um, other than that, there's not really a whole lot to talk about with it. Um, the company is real friendly. Um, they're really kind. I've seen a lot of other reviews for them. You know, they take, they try their best to take care of the uh, customers with their orders and stuff, but because they do get contracted, they sometimes fall behind. Like this has been paid off for a few months and just now got it. Um, but you know, they're great work. The like screen printing is immaculate. You know, you can't bash them on that. Just, uh, you know, little things here and there. I may take like a, 
take some scissors and go up maybe like an inch or two kind of like help make this expand a little bit more so then it fits on my head a little bit easier but other than that not too bad but uh, if you guys like today's video go ahead and you know what to do and i'll see you next time but until then got a flash